Hey everyone, Dustin here from lawatyourside.com where we provide real legal help when you really need it. So you got injured at work, you saw a doctor, that doctor issued a final report that says you are a certain percent disabled. You later, or beforehand, went and saw a QME state doctor. And that state doctor also said a report that you are a certain amount disabled. But guess what? The two doctors disagreed on what your disability amount was. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how all that works and how it all ties together. So in workers' compensation, the weight of a treating doctor and the weight of a state doctor, a QME, are the same. So if the, the treating doctor says that you are 25% you know, disabled, but the state doctor says that you're only 10% disabled, they are considered to be equal weight. So what will happen in that case is which doctor's report is more substantial? So there's a couple ways to determine uh, which doctor's report is more substantial. First of all, which doctors looked at all the records? Sometimes there's an MRI and the treating doctor didn't look at the MRI. Right? Or sometimes the state doctor didn't look at the MRI. And if one of these doctors didn't look at the MRI, and this is usually in their review of records report, they didn't even look at the MRI, uh, their report's probably not gonna be as substantial. They'll also look at prior records. Which doctor looked at all the prior records? So let's say you had an injury and you treated with your own doctor for five months and did physical therapy, right? And the state doctor saw those records, but the treating doctor never saw those records guess what, the state doctor's re report's probably going to be more substantial. So that's one thing to look at is who reviewed all the records, okay? Second thing to look at is whose opinion makes more sense? Who backed up their opinions with logic? They didn't just give conclusory opinions and say, oh, I think it's 10% disabled, period. They have to give reasons why it's 10% disabled. There's this thing called American Medical Association Guides, and they have to go through the guides and explain why they're getting to their opinion. Maybe you have a shoulder injury and they do some range of motion with your shoulder, right? To see how far, how high you can lift it, right? So there are certain tables in the American Medical Association guides that dictate what the disability amount would be. So they have to go through and really explain exactly how they got to their opinions. Just so you know, generally speaking, state doctors tend to get favored over treating doctors in the workers' comp system. The reason for that is treating doctors oftentimes have a certain bias one way or another. If a treating doctor is on a lean basis, they're working with the attorney, they're working with the, uh, the client themselves, and sometimes the ratings can be a little bit higher than maybe what they really should be. A state doctor tends to be, or supposed to be anyway, a little more neutral, um, a little more thorough in their analysis. Sometimes the treating doctor's reports aren't really written that well and state doctor's reports are written more well, but it really does depend on the circumstances. It's not 100%. It really depends on the doctor and the reports that are written, the prior records that were out there, and whether they've been reviewed or not. So those are some things to consider. What we try to do in situations where the treating doctor is different than the state doctor is to kind of look at and see which report is more reasonable and then maybe try to find a happy medium. If the treating doctor says 25 and the state doctor says 10, maybe try to get it to like 17 and a half percent, find a happy medium and then resolve the case that way. In workers comp, there's always going to be some little issue here and there that can derail settlement or delay the case months. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's kind of coming to a happy medium where all the parties are either happy or somewhat happy and then resolving the case that way. So thank you so much for watching that video. If this video helps you, please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want a free consultation or for us to help you on your workers' comp case, please give us a call at the number below and we'll be more than happy to discuss it with you.